Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I created this Indian themed makeup tutorial. It's perfect for like a wedding or Diwali which will be coming up soon or anything like that. I've always loved the bold kind of royal blue look so I thought that's what I'd try and create in this video. I made it quite a chatty tutorial, like a bit of a catch up with what I've been up to and everything so I hope you guys like it. Okay guys, so I've just done my brows and primed my eyelids. Now I'm gonna start by going in with my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, which I love by the way, it's so amazing. Um, I got it for my birthday and I'm just obsessed with it. So what I'm gonna do is first start off in the crease and do some kind of warm browns, um, transitioning into kind of like a smoky corner. So I'm gonna start with that. And I'm gonna take um, this shade to start off with and just lightly work that into the crease. Oh my god guys, I can't believe how long it's been. I had like exams and stuff and then it was summer and I went to Thailand for a month which was literally amazing. I went like traveling around. So I started off in Bangkok and then um, I traveled up to the north and went to Chiang Mai. Oh my god, it was incredible. I basically had a day with elephants so we were in the jungle and I basically got to like feed them and I bathed them with mud and then I bathed with them in a lake it was so cool yeah it was literally incredible and then we went to like this waterfall we trekked in the jungle to get there and stuff it was literally such an amazing experience then after that we basically went island hopping for the rest of like the three weeks so I went to like so many different islands all around Thailand. Yeah, literally like paradise. Yeah, I was so busy with that. And then um, it was my birthday afterwards, my 20th, just like organizing stuff for that. Just basically settling in after I came back. So yeah, it's been kind of mad, but I am back now. Yeah, hopefully gonna get back into a routine now. I'm starting my third year at uni, so that's gonna be a bit mad, but I'll do my best to make time for videos and stuff because I've missed it so much but oh my god I've been so excited to film this video I so I've been prepping for it for like weeks now thinking I'm gonna do it like every day and it's just not happened so finally getting around to it today so we've got this nice kind of ready brown thing going on now I'm just gonna take this shade here which is kind of like a lighter orangey brown and I'm gonna blend that towards the top part just so we've got a bit of a smoother transition So now I've done that, I'm going to take a slightly smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with this deeper brown shade and I'm going to mix it a bit with this um, and gradually put in a bit of black as well in the inner corner. And I'm just going to warm that up and see what happens because to be honest, I'm kind of winging it, but we're just going to see what happens. Also guys, let me know if there are any videos that you want to see. Um, I've been wanting to do like an Indian themed um, video for so long. Yeah, I thought it'd be good to do it now. I know I'm a bit late in doing it because um, wedding season is kind of ending now. But um, Diwali is coming up anyway. Um, so, you know, this could be a Diwali look too. But if you guys like these Indian themed looks and I can do more of them. I don't think it was a good idea to talk whilst I do this because I'm getting so distracted and just doing kind of whatever and it's just not going out how I expect. Okay, I guess we'll just kind of see what happens. Now I'm just kind of blending the darker brown to the brown that we started with so it's a little bit smoother. And don't worry about the edges because we're gonna clean that up um, with a makeup wipe after which is why we've started with the eyes instead of the face. So you can basically be as messy as you need to be and then you could just completely clean it up. A lot of people like to use tape for that, but personally, I don't really like using tape. So that's why I'm going with this. Now I'm slowly bringing it up towards the crease area, making it slightly darker. But I'm not taking it all the way to the inner crease, I'm just kind of stopping around here. Because um, I'm not doing like a cut crease or anything, I just want it to kind of gradually transition into the darkness. So now I'm just going to take my fluffy brush with the lightest brown that we use, and I'm just going to use it to kind of blend it all in together and make it look a bit more cohesive.
Now what I'm going to do is take this flat synthetic brush and I'm taking my NYX matte finish spray um, and I'm just going to spray my brush to make it wet for my eyeshadow application. So this basically makes the pigment come out a lot stronger um, and a lot more intense. So I'm going to take this gorgeous blue shade and I'm going to start packing that onto the lid. So I'm taking it all the way to the inner corner as you can see and I'm taking it up to the crease but I'm not taking it above that point because I don't want it to be too harsh um, so that's why I'm kind of just fading it out round about here. Oh my god that is looking amazing okay so um, by the way this is my first time using the colour that's why I'm kind of like a bit shock. Um, okay, anyway, now I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush, if I can find one. Okay, yeah, this one will do. So I'm gonna take this with the same shade, but basically we have a lighter hand with the product because it's a dry brush and it's fluffy, so the product is gonna be distributed a lot, like, fluffier? That's definitely not the word. A lot lighter, I'll just go with that. A lot lighter, so it's not as, like, intensely being put on. So this makes it easier to kind of, like, blend it into the crease and into the brown that we've got going on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, now I'm going to go and do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be back in a second. Okay, now a lot of like the intensity has been lost from kind of blending out. So I'm going to go back in with my flat brush and go with the same blue shade and just kind of pack it on the main part of the eyelid again. So, oh my god, I need to drop the palette. <sighs> oh my god, so basically when I went away, because it was like so hot and I was there for so long, it basically helped my skin so so much like I can't even explain like it was amazing and especially because uh, those of you who have watched my video on I think it was my eczema care or something it was I can't remember what it's called I think it was my everyday makeup tutorial I talked about the fact I've got really sensitive skin and I suffer from quite bad eczema on my face and when I was there it like completely cleared up and it was just like so good for it but then when I came home, basically because of the like extreme change in weather, um, I had a complete like flare up of my eczema and it got so bad. So that's, I don't know if you can see over here, I'm still kind of recovering from some of it. Um, but yeah, I didn't tan um, in one area because of my steroid cream, which was really annoying. So yeah, that's why I've not been able to film as well because I've had like quite bad skin days and stuff. So yeah. That wasn't good. So now I'm gonna go back in with the darkest brown shade that we used. I'm gonna mix it with this. I think it's like a really, really dark brown. And maybe a little bit of black. Okay, I'm just gonna see what happens. But yeah, I'm gonna mix them together and I'm gonna put that on the bottom outer corner of my eyes, kind of smoke it up a little bit and then blend it through to the crease that we've already got going on. So I'm slowly blending in that lighter brown first to get a transition before we apply the darker shade and now I'm taking this little brush which I really like for um, doing the smoky corners because it's it's such a dense brush um, that it's really good for getting a lot of concentrated product into one area so I'm gonna take that dark brown and start working that into the bottom corner Oh my god, also, I completely forgot to mention, I got a new light, so this is my first time trying it out, so yeah, that's really exciting. Okay, that's such a random little burst. Yeah, I got a ring light, finally, so um, yeah, hopefully you guys notice a difference in the lighting, but um, I'm also going to be getting a new camera, so um, that should be here soon, so that'll be really exciting as well, so hopefully I'll be able to film more, but yeah. So now I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Moon Dust palette and I'm going to take the shade, oh I don't know how to say this, Vega? I'm going to go with Vega. 
Vega. So what I'm going to do is put this on the center of my eyelids. So I'm just going to start applying that to the lid and see how it goes. So when you're happy with that, we're going to go in with winged liner. So today I am taking the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I'm just going to do a classic wing and then I'm going to add some lashes. I feel like I'm getting so red because this light is just so warm. <laughs> Okay guys, lashes are now on. They are the Minx 2.0 lashes uh, by Socialize, um, but I'll leave that all in the description. Um, so now I'm just going to take my Roller Lash Mascara and I'm going to coat it on my top lashes to kind of blend the fake and the real ones together. You know the drill. So yeah, I'm going to do that now. So now we're going to start the skin. So I am going to first colour correct my under eyes and I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in, um, basically it's the red corrector so it's going to take away the darkness under my eyes so I'm just going to start that now. I'm going to take my NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade Caramel um, and I'm going to just gradually build up my coverage for my foundation. And I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and blend this all out. So I have been literally loving this foundation lately. Um, my skin has got really patchy from my tan, which is really annoying, so I've been doing a lot more kind of full coverage, um, but literally I'm just in love with this. Um, I'm going to do a favourites video soon, so I'll talk a bit more about it then, but yeah, I've just been obsessed with this foundation lately. Now I am going to highlight and conceal with my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Beige. So I'm just using a flat um, brush to apply this. I'm also dragging this up the side of my nose um, to help with our nose contour in a little bit. So applying this in the usual places, under the eyes, uh, on the forehead and down on my nose and a little bit on my chin. So I'm taking my NYX Total Drop Control Foundation in the shade Deep Rich and I really like this for contouring. Um, it's got basically a cool undertone which um, is good because it will stop you from looking too orangey which no one really wants. So um, a little bit goes a long way with this so I'm just going to take a little bit on my contour line, literally just that much. Um, down here. Oh, I thought I dropped some, but we're all good. And I'm gonna take this little, it's like a mini buffing brush, kind of. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but it's what it kind of feels like. So I'm just gonna use that to blend out my contour. My baby has a coming in the way, you guys know the struggle. 
I'm gonna go ahead and set that. I'm using my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder, which I'm pretty sure I've used in every single video because I don't use anything but this. But um, I'm just gonna bake literally just underneath my eyes because that bit creases really, really easily for me. It's actually ridiculous, it's so annoying. And I'm also gonna go down the bridge of my nose because I get a really oily nose. Literally, the time that it takes me to do that buff out what I've got under my eyes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this NYX HD finishing powder. I really love it. It's basically just like a translucent powder but in compact form. So it's not as messy, which is really handy. And I'm just gonna use this to dust um, and to set basically elsewhere. This is really great for um, traveling because it's a lot easier to transport um, and just use when you're in a rush as well. So I like to use that to set the other areas uh, where I've concealed and pretty much like lightly all over my face um, because it's a lot lighter than the Laura Mercier powder um, so it's not got as heavy a finish. Now we pray that our nose doesn't get too oily. <laughs> I'm gonna go and set my powder. No, that doesn't make sense. Set my contour with my powder. That's what I meant. I'm gonna use my Hoola bronzer to start with. Now I'm going to basically take uh, my Real Technique sponge again and I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder and just line like just under, I think I just poked myself in the eye, um, I should probably use a mirror, um, and I'm going to just line underneath my nose contour and just um, lighten up that part so you see how there's darkness here, we want to kind of get rid of that. I'm now going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the shade light to medium and I'm just going to take the shade, I think it's Havana, uh, which is slightly darker and just deepen up the contour a little bit more. Oh look what's back! <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't use that today! Oh my god, I think this is actually the first video I've not used this palette. That's crazy! I never thought the day would come. Now I'm gonna... Oh my god, there's so many steps. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with some blush um, on this Bamboo... Zoeva Bamboo 101 Face Definer Brush. And I am taking the Sleek Eye and Cheek Palette, A Midsummer's Dream, which I love. And I'm taking this shimmery blush here. Now I'm taking this Body Shop brush and I'm going to go in with my Laura, Mer Laura Mercier highlighter in the shade Addiction, which is a lovely gold shade, which will match nicely with the outfit we have. Now we're going to go back to the eyes and do the underneath. Okay, I'm going to take the browns that we worked with earlier and just start smoking up the bottom lash line. Bottom? God, bottom lash line. I'm darkening the outer corners with the dark brown that we used to kind of give it that cat eye shape. 
I'm now going to apply my mascara to the bottom lashes with my roller lash mascara. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with my highlighter, highlight our brow bone and our inner corners with a little bit of gold. Okay guys, now I'm just going to set my face with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray and I'm going to do my hair and accessorise and I'll be back in a sec. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. I basically just added these accessories um, and put like a glossy lip on and um, that's basically the finished look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun finally filming it and um let me know if you guys want more of these kind of videos and then i will do them for you so thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe to my channel because i promise oh because i promise i am back now and i'll be videoing videoing i will be filming as many videos as i can now and i will see you guys in my next video what the hell? A bit of a more of a, a bit of a more of a.